What's going on guys? It's uh, about 2.30 and uh, we're gonna crack this open. This is by uh, Hobby Japan. The finest Moto car project. And this is an NSX obviously, NSX 30 something. I don't know, we'll, we'll have a look at it when we open it up. But yeah, this is a Hobby Japan. If you guys aren't familiar, that's the name of the brand, Hobby Japan. Definitely not one of the cheaper brands to collect. Uh, they are definitely one of the brands that I'd probably say are in the medium to high price point. Definitely high for, let's say, average looking, uh, average not looking, but average uh Average die cast in the in this uh, particular uh, like kind of packaging, like where you get the sleeve and anything like that. I I think it's on the high end. Uh, it's right up there with Tomica Limited Vintage. But sometimes when you're ordering this stuff, you don't really realize how much this stuff kind of costs because you're just so intrigued by the the actual model itself and maybe the kind of accessories that it comes with. So you just end up buying it. And you don't really think about how much they cost or how they compare with each other in regards to that. But now that I have so many, I can definitely uh, give you guys a very honest answer about this kind of stuff. So, uh, NSX 30th, um, 30 celebrating the debut. So, anniversary. So, it got uh, debuted in 1990, and now, uh, well, it's 2020, now it's 2021, so it's 31 years old. But that's cool. That is very cool that they made something like that for it. Um, so this is the case. Uh, generally, Hobby Japan cases are really basic in regards to the base. So I don't mind that. You know, save the money for the for the actual model itself. We'll check out the accessory before we. All right. So what we got here? We got this uh, wooden crate and uh, skid. Sorry, not not plate skid for the motor. So I got one of these before for uh, I believe another motor, another out of another car I picked it up from these guys. Um, so there's the motor. It's a V6. So this would have sat in the back like that, or or like this. I, let me see. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. Yeah, would have would have sat in like this. Cool. All right. So what I was curious, we'll take the model off the base first. All right. All right. There's the model off the base. The sun is definitely shining right now on the car. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Um, the wheels are alright, I feel like they could have definitely uh, made them a lot cleaner looking. They're alright, like I can see the Honda symbol in the middle, but uh, you know at this price point of $40 for a little model like this, it's you gotta be pretty clean and pretty perfect. The front end looks looks pretty good, very clean. Headlights are popped up in the popped up position. This is a right hand drive vehicle. And there's the interior, it's a two tone, two tone interior. Pretty neat. There's the rear end. And it says type S in the corner there, which is cool. It's very cool. The back is really well done too as well. The tail lights, everything looks pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so there's the, yeah, there is an engine in there. I was a little bit curious if they actually put an engine in there or if they would have just like, oh, well, we gave them an engine, so. But you can you can kind of see an engine. I, I know that in the, in the camera, you can't really make it out. Uh, you can't really make it out, but it, it is in there. Um... You see this uh, glass partition in the back here? 
you can see like that's not that's that's not really clean at all either guys right along there that's horribly done hey <sighs> can this thing uh yeah this one can be unscrewed so we can have a look at that but this is the only problem this exhaust is covering up that screw so might not be the easiest thing to to take apart so i probably would just leave it alone um let's see if it rolls okay so a little bit of friction in the front here let me see why yeah some kind of uh there's definitely some kind of rubbing or something that's okay <clears throat> i don't expect these kind of uh models to to roll when they do it's it's awesome this does have that reflective mirror material in the side mirror i think that's a pretty common trait now at this point um, all these manufacturers are kind of getting that all right guys this was the hobby japan nsx to be honest with you, I am not 100% a fan of these guys. I prefer, uh, well, Mini GT for sure. And then uh, BM Creations is pretty is pretty up there for me. And Para is pretty pretty good too. Uh, all those are around the $20, 15 to $20 price point, which is, a, which is a really, really sweet price point for these diecast models. You can collect a bunch of them and you don't feel like they're, they're robbing you. Uh, especially when um, it's not perfect and it's literally double the price uh, you know I understand you get this little little 3d printed uh, thing that they painted but this doesn't make it twice as much either so um, I do have a lot of these hobby Japans um, I will collect like um, like a new casting that they do or a casting that I might not even have um, of a particular vehicle that they make so I'll do that but uh, to pick up like um, different colors maybe if this came in a different livery I, I wouldn't be really interested to be honest with you so I'm, I'm glad I have this one but I am a little bit disappointed and you can see the, the paint quality there too as well on this back pillar here that's not that's not that's horrible to be honest with you and it's not just the paint quality it looks like the glass isn't really set on proper so um, I don't know if you didn't have an NSX or if uh, the headlights popped up and, and a motor I'd probably say pick it up but uh, if you already have um, you know or if you're not a fan don't worry about it all right guys um, I will see you guys in the next video peace